Hey, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Tom King's run on Batman, because so far I think I'm the only person who's really enjoying it. Uh, for me, these past few issues have been the best Batman that I've read in a long time. And you know, that's not to say that I didn't like Scott Snyder's run on Batman, but here's the thing. The only reason I'm not so high on Snyder's run is because, unfortunately, it doesn't feel all that fresh. You know, don't get me wrong, uh, I think that Scott Snyder has a great voice for Batman. I love his take on Bruce Wayne. I love his take on Gotham and how it's presented with this really scary horror aesthetic. But at the end of the day, his run on Batman feels very been there, done that. Uh, because a lot of the stuff that he does with Batman has already been covered with other writers, uh, more specifically Grant Morrison. And I don't want to just regurgitate to you what a lot of other Batman fans who also feel the same way have already said, mostly because that would be painfully ironic, uh, but it's true. Scott Snyder just shared a lot of the same ideas that Grant Morrison had, and kind of infused a lot of ideas from other previous writers. And in regards to Grant Morrison, it's really hard not to notice the similarities between those two runs, especially when they were being written almost concurrently with one another. But then Tom King is brought in to write Batman, and as you guys know, I'm in love with Tom King's run on Vision. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read his run on the Omega Men yet, but I've heard nothing but great things about it. So when he was put on Batman, I was really excited. And when I read the first issue, I was over the moon, mostly because it was something different. I mean, there were homages to older Batman works, yes, but it didn't feel like I was reading something that was a regurgitation of someone else's work. Um, you know, in other words, I didn't feel like I was watching The Force Awakens. Uh, in fact, I think the best analogy that I can make about the two runs so far is that reading Snyder's run on Batman is a lot like watching The Force Awakens, whereas reading Tom King's run on Batman is like watching Rogue One. Uh, there's this sense of refreshment in reading it that I really appreciate. And, you know, speaking of which, the main thing that draws me more towards Tom King's run on Batman as opposed to not only Snyder's run on Batman, but a lot of other current runs on the character is that he doesn't recycle old played out Batman themes, uh, specifically the idea of Bruce Wayne being the mask and Batman being the one who Bruce really is. And you know, I don't want you to mistake me for saying that it's not a neat idea, because it is, but it's an idea that's been played out by now and just comes off as, you know, typical to do with that character. But then we get to Tom King, and he introduces this idea that Batman isn't Bruce Wayne's true face, but much rather, if I'm interpreting this correctly, Batman is a really impulsive bad decision that Bruce made out of his pain that he has to live with now, and by this point in time, he doesn't mind dying with it. And again, I'm probably reading this wrong, but based off what I've read so far, Bruce almost feels like a hopeless drug addict, you no know, one that recognizes that they're an addict and knows that what they're doing is harmful to themselves, but feels as though they've dug themselves in a ditch that's so deep that the only other option they have is to keep digging. And I just find that really fascinating because it's something that I've never really seen done with that character before. Uh, but yeah, that's why I love Tom King's run on Batman. Uh, but anyways guys, those are just my thoughts. But what about you? Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share, support the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie. Thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, adios nachos, adios.